How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, so you've just got a new iPhone and you're probably thinking right now, how can I actually transfer all of my data and files from my old iPhone to my new one? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly that. And keep in mind that this process is native, official, so it's made by Apple, it's completely free, and you don't even need cables or computers, anything like that. All you need is right there in front of you, your old iPhone and your new one, and we're gonna transfer everything wirelessly. And when I say everything, I do mean it. So not only the data and files, but also all of the apps and even all of the data inside those apps. So after we're done, the new iPhone is gonna have the exact same files. It's gonna be a complete copy of the old one. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I have to tell you right now is the new iPhone, the iPhone you just got, has to be at the hello screen, the very first setup screen on your iPhone, the screen you see when you open it up out of the box, the hello screen. If it isn't, no problem, I'm gonna show you right now how to get to the hello screen. But if it is, if your iPhone is currently displaying this screen right here, it's blank and empty, great. You can actually skip this step that I'm gonna show you right now. You can follow from the chapters down below, all right? So if your iPhone is just like mine, so it's not in the hello screen, it's already in use, let's get to that page, to that screen. So all you have to do is open up your settings and then scroll down, go to general, and then scroll all the way down until you see transfer or reset iPhone, and then erase all content and settings. That's right, we need to erase, to reset the iPhone in order to get to the hello screen, okay? So as you can see right here, it's gonna erase everything from this phone. So if there is any kind of important data on this phone right here, and please keep in mind that I'm talking about the new phone. The old phone is right here. We're gonna get all of the data from this guy and put it in this one. So just be very, very clear. If there is any important stuff on the new iPhone, make sure to save it, to transfer however you wish, okay? Because right now, we're gonna actually need to erase the new phone, it has to be completely blank, okay? So let's go ahead and continue. Keep in mind that if you have an eSIM on this phone, you have the possibility to keep it on this phone or erase it completely. So you need to realize what you actually wanna do because when we actually transfer from the old one to the new one, we can actually transfer the eSIM that's right here, okay? So if you want this eSIM, you don't have to worry about that because you're gonna get this eSIM. So consider your situation, okay? In my case, I'm gonna delete eSIM and erase data. I don't need anything on this phone, okay? So uh, passcode for this phone. So that's the lock screen passcode, so type it in. Finish the passcode. And then of course, you're gonna need to type in the Apple account password. This is necessary as well in order to erase the phone. If you don't remember it, we have the forgot password link right here. After you type it in, just tap on turn off and then let it do its thing, let your iPhone work. This may take a few seconds as you're seeing, but don't worry, generally it takes a few seconds, that's normal, just let it do its thing and think. And so, as you can see, after a few seconds, you're gonna see the Apple logo with a loading bar, which means this iPhone is being reset at this moment. So iOS is formatting itself, it's erasing all of its data and files and getting there to the hello screen, which is exactly what we need. Now, just wait a little bit. And so, after a couple minutes, that's exactly what we're gonna see the hello screen, meaning we're ready to start the transferring process. So what we actually have to do is we're gonna put the new iPhone to the side for a second and get the old one, so the iPhone with all of our data, and just make sure a couple things. First, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi, as you're seeing right here. We're gonna need to connect to this very same Wi-Fi network on the new device in a second, okay? So just make sure it's connected to Wi-Fi 
and also Bluetooth. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled as well. So Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And last but not least, just open up your settings and then go ahead here and scroll a bit down to general and then software update and just make sure this iPhone is up to date. So iOS is up to date. Regardless of the version that it is, just make sure it's up to date. And then we're good to go. So let's go ahead here, get the new iPhone, and then let's just go through a few steps, a few screens. So go ahead and set your language, in this case, English, country or region, I'm gonna put Brazil, but put yours, and then let's continue with appearance, and then right here is where we want. Quickly set up iPhone, that's exactly it. And as you can see, after just a couple seconds, it's gonna pop up this screen on the old one. This is normal and this is instant, as you can see. So then you can go ahead and continue. If it doesn't pop up, as you saw, I didn't do anything, it's automatic, but if it doesn't pop up, just make sure to turn off the screen and turn it back on, okay? So just lock and unlock your iPhone and then it will pop up, all right? So then let's go ahead here and continue, as you can see. Then enter your passcode or face ID, it will depend. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me just finish typing in. And as you can see, it's gonna start connecting. Then we're gonna need to read this icon image thing, just like you do on your Apple Watch, right? So just go ahead and read it like you are scanning a QR code. And then as you can see, it's asking who are you signing in to the iPhone? And it's probably gonna be yourself, right? You, you're doing this for your own iPhone, right? So let's go ahead and get started. And then right here, it's gonna ask for the passcode of your other iPhone. So when your new iPhone is asking this iPhone's passcode. So type it in as well, complete. Uh, I'm very sorry that both screens are at a very different brightness level, it's just because when we are on this setup process, we can't really adjust the brightness, so that's why it's so different, okay? But uh, of course, it's gonna get normal after we're through. As you can see right here, it's saying it may take a few minutes to activate the iPhone, so this iPhone is being activated at the moment. And as you can see, it's already connected to Wi-Fi, right? So it's automatic. As we're doing this process, it just passed the Wi-Fi credentials to the new iPhone. So we're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Now let's continue right here, data and privacy. We can actually leave the old iPhone on the table because we're gonna need to actually finish on the new one, okay? But there are actually a few more steps, so hang on. Right here we have Face ID, so you can go ahead and actually set up your Face ID. Let's continue, uh, let's get started, and then is your typical Face ID process. I'm just gonna do it very quickly so I don't waste your time. As you can see, it was complete. And right here we have Face ID with a mask. If you wanna use it, you can go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna use Face ID with a mask. And then Face ID is complete. Face ID is now set up. Great, we can continue as you can see. And now transfer data from iPhone. This is iPhone, all right? So we're gonna transfer the data from this guy to this one, which is exactly what we need. The estimate time is gonna say from 15 to 20 minutes. That's normal, it may take a few minutes, it may take even a few hours, and that's all gonna depend on your internet speed and how much data you have. So there's nothing really you can do right here, just make sure you continue, and then it's gonna start the transferring process. Of course, terms and conditions, you can agree, and then the process will start on its own. As you can see, it's gonna transfer apps and data, settings, and everything else. So for example, if you have uh, Apple Pay cards. If you have other stuff, it's gonna populate right here as well. So what's showing here is everything that's on this phone, okay? So it's just gonna transfer absolutely everything. You don't need to mess with this because by default, it's gonna transfer the whole thing, okay? So if you wanna transfer everything, just continue. You don't need to customize anything. Right here, iMessage and FaceTime, you can continue. Location services, you can turn on 
and then we have Apple Intelligence. If your device is compatible with Apple Intelligence, you can choose to set up Apple Intelligence now or later. In my case, I'm gonna set up later just to make things faster. Okay, we have here camera control. So if your iPhone is updated and has a camera control button, it's gonna show you how it works. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue. Same thing with the action button on the side. I'm not gonna customize it right now, but you can go ahead and do all of that. Take your time and do the process. All right, emergency SOS, let's continue as well. This is also important. So if there are any software updates available on the new iPhone, uh, iOS will actually require you to do that. So you can go ahead and update now. And this is recommended as well. So it may take a little bit of a while, but that's necessary, okay? And so after a couple minutes, the software update will be completed. You're gonna go ahead and type in your passcode which is gonna be the exact same one of your old phone. As I said, they're gonna be identical. So type it in. And so we're gonna see right here, reconnecting, because of course it was updating the software. And as you're seeing, finish on new iPhone, preparing to transfer. This phone is already updated to the latest version. And now just wait a little bit more. One thing that's super important as well is always take a look at the battery percentage, at the battery level. Because as you can tell, this process generally takes a while, generally takes a few moments and minutes. So if your battery is super low on any of the devices, make sure to plug them in so the battery doesn't die in the middle of the process, which is of course not very good. So keep monitoring both batteries and make sure that they have enough juice to go through with the process, okay? So as you can see, time remaining, estimating, as you can see, the transferring is actually happening right now at this moment, and all you have to do really is wait. Keep both iPhones side by side, as I'm doing throughout this whole process, keep them side by side and wait. And so after a few minutes, that's what you're gonna see. Transfer complete on the old phone, as you can see right here, and then it's gonna get back to the hello screen, but of course, already with all of the data and files. It's saying here, transfer complete, your apps and data have been transferred. And it's talking about the phone number as well. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. So you can tap on done, and then your old phone is back to normal, all right? It's fully functional, of course. And your new phone is gonna say, as I said, the hello screen. You're gonna go ahead and use Face ID or your passcode that you have already registered. And then restore completed. Apps and data will continue downloading in the background that's completely normal and part of the process. Let's continue right here. It may require your Apple account password once again, just for security. So go ahead and type it in. And then of course, just continue. So you're gonna log into your Apple account. If you have two-step verification, do that as well. It may ask you for your iPhone passcode. So that's this iPhone passcode, which is of course the same as this one as well. Type it in and then we're gonna see Apple Intelligence once again. You can set it up now or later if you want to. And we're gonna get those exact same screens about camera control and action button as we saw before. I'm gonna skip that as well just to make things easier and faster for us. Let's skip here all the information about iOS 26. And then as you can see, it's saying welcome, let's get started. And then right here, we have our iPhone with all of the same data and files. As you can see, we've got here the exact same thing. So take a look at this. We've got the same apps in the same order, uh, the widget, which is exactly the same. Uh, it's asking here about sharing location. I'm just gonna say not now. Uh, we've got here even the same phone number and badges and notifications. And of course, everything is the same. The applications are exactly the same as well. And they're being downloaded in the background. Uh, so all you have to do is wait for a couple minutes and then everything will finish downloading. You're probably asking about the wallpaper. Daniel, why is the wallpaper different? That's the only difference. And that's because this is an exclusive. This is the iPhone 14 Pro exclusive wallpaper. That's why it didn't go through. That's why it got this other random wallpaper right here. But as you can see, that's the only absolute difference. Everything else is the same. 
please make sure to wait especially for WhatsApp and other applications as well. You need to wait and give them time to load everything in the background. This process may take a few minutes or even hours. Just make sure to wait for everything to be downloaded. And so after just a couple minutes, we're all done. Let me just show you, for example, on Instagram, which I don't even have to log in again. It's already there logged in. As I mentioned, it's going to be exactly the same. So as I open here and show you, of course, even uh, the credentials, it's all there. So I don't have to do absolutely anything after all of the apps load, which, as I said, it's completely automatic. You're there. You're set up you're good to go. Oh, and to wrap it up, let's talk about eSIM. So by default, your iPhone, your new iPhone will actually ask if you want to transfer the eSIM from the old one. There will be an extra screen just talking about that and you'll be able to transfer it automatically, super simple, without even talking to your carrier. But if you don't see that screen, if it doesn't work for any reason, I have a dedicated video here on the channel just teaching you how to do that, how to transfer an eSIM from an iPhone to another. I'm gonna have a direct link right here and also link in the description so you can check it out and you can see how you can do it manually, all right? So that's it. Thanks for watching this video. That's how you transfer all of your data, files, and apps from an old iPhone to a new one. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.